You will hear an interview with a professional athlete called Anne Brown. For questions 24 to 30, choose the best answer. A, B or C. You now have one minute to look at part four. Today I'm talking to 21-year-old long-distance runner Anne Brown, who's just returned from the World Championships. So, Anne, how did you feel about your performance in the Championships? When you haven't raced for a while, you've no idea whether you're in sufficiently good shape. I'd only had a few weeks of training behind me, so I wasn't thinking I'd do brilliantly, and it certainly would have been amazing to come first. Anyway, I was happy to get the silver medal. It was an exciting race and the crowd was fantastic. So, what's your training routine like, Anne? I do around 25 to 30 hours a week, mostly long distance, steady stuff. I go running through the woods. Running on roads is pretty dull, so I make sure there's always some attractive countryside to keep me interested. I get pleasure from seeing the changes in nature, but I do have to remember to keep my eye on the time so I can check my pace. It's vital to keep pushing myself to my limits. Do you train every day or do you take a day off? The accepted idea is that all professional sports people should have at least one rest day a week so the body can recover. I'm not a great believer in that though. At my age, I find I can keep going without one. I do five hours a day and I'd even like to be able to do more than that, but I don't want to push my body too hard because that can lead to other problems. What about your competitors in races? Do you get to know them as friends? I race against athletes from all sorts of places. I wouldn't say I've got friendships with them, though I'm sure some of them are really good guys, but I tend to keep a professional distance. It'd be too easy to let friendships start interfering with the way I run races. Of course, at my age, chatting about life, having fun and a good social life are important to me. I share a house with three mates. They're the people I really get on well with. So, do you have any favourite free time activities? Let me think. I suppose I did when I was a kid, but I'm not so sure nowadays. Yeah, I used to take my kite to the top of the hills and fly it for hours. In the season, skiing's something that I get into quite a bit when I've got the time. I've always enjoyed active things and never really been much of a reader of books or that kind of thing. Of course, I watch TV and play computer games like most people. And do you get recognised in the street very often? Very rarely, I'm pleased to say, as I think it would be a bit strange and I'm not sure how comfortable I'd feel about being stopped for autographs and pictures all the time. On the whole, I find people wanting your autograph a bit of a pain, to be honest. It happens sometimes when I'm at events, and at first you say OK, and then after a while you wish it had stop. I suppose I did that sort of thing when I was younger. It was always such a thrill to meet someone in the public eye. So, are you planning for the next Olympics? Well, in my sport, most people peak in their late 20s, so it's important to have an eye on the next five years or so, because that's when supposedly I'll be at my best. In the immediate future, I want to do well, of course, but I'm concentrating my attention further ahead. Fortunately, I've been injury-free so far, so I don't have that worry. It's no use having fantasies about winning gold medals until I've reached the top of my own fitness and endurance levels. Then I can start to think seriously about it.